Hey everybody, this is Joby, and today I'm going to talk about the Mulberry Hermit Crab. It's a non-combat pet. Look at him, little purple self. Pretty cool. Uh, I won't ever use him, I mean, but uh, you can get it from just walking into any of the dungeons from Lost Depths. So if we look in here, we go to uh, go up to Journal. And then go to achievements. Hold on. Lost Depths. And this is the Lost Depths Explorer. So enter either Earthen Root Enclave or Graven Depth for the first Graven Deep for the first time. And you get the uh, Mulberry Hermit Crab. So you can just walk in and then walk out. If you don't like to do dungeons, but you want the crab, you want the non-combat pet, all you need to do is just pour it in. So I'll, it's real easy. If you just go here. Go to High Isle. Of course, you have to have High Isle. Don't forget about that. And just travel into Earthen Root Enclave, or you can travel into Grave and Deep. There it is, right there in uh, Omnios, Omin, Ominos Station. And uh can be on any difficulty. You don't have to fight anything. You just walk in to one of those dungeons, and you will get it. You'll get the, uh, the Hermit Crab. And I think that's uh, pretty good. Always get some free pet and stuff like that. Uh, there's a bunch of achievements that you get from those dungeons. And they're all, a lot of them are pretty easy. I've only done the dungeons on normal. We uh, we went all the way through the dungeon on vet. I was healing for Grave and Deep. And the last boss on vet is, for Grave and Deep, is, uh, is pretty hard. There's lots of mechanics. It's all mechanics, really. All you need to do is, um, you know, follow the mechanics and figure them out. Like there's these balls that fall down. And if they touch the ground, the whole group wipes. There's another thing that happens where he splits into four. The final boss splits into uh, five. You know, the main character. And then there's like four different ghosts. And everybody needs to interrupt each one of the ghosts and then kill it. And then the middle one will be just like sleeping and then he'll wake up, and then he does these tidal surges. That's a one shot. And then there's a, another mechanic where <laughs> this ghost comes and steals your soul and starts running away, and you have to catch it. And there's these cone AoEs that come out. It's insane. Lots and lots going on. Uh, definitely doable if you just keep trying. And it's not like you have to have high DPS or anything like that. It's not about that. It's about following all the mechanics and getting used to them. And... Uh, I, ne I didn't finish because I had to go. It was getting late, and uh, I needed to go to work, so I left. And then uh, they, they said they got uh, another healer and another tank in after that, and they finished like four in four times. So just staying in there and following mechanics, and then you'll get it. But uh, you do have to definitely have some wherewithal and some patience. Uh, I haven't done Earth and Root on, on uh, Vet yet. Uh, I mean, I still haven't even completed Graven Deep, so I need to do that. But uh, there's a gear set in there that I really like a lot. It's called Grave Inevitability, and uh, check it out in your collections. Well, that's really about it for today. I just wanted to show you this little cute non-combat pet. Lots of people don't like non-combat pets, and I totally get it. If you don't like it, don't get it. Don't need to. Don't need to complain about it. Just say, that does not exist to me. So please, give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment in the comment section. If there's anything you'd like about it, have you done the dungeons? You know, have you checked it out? Um, have you been getting style pages from the Undaunted Festival? I have most of them already, but I'm able to give them to my friends. And I have been getting some uh, motifs, which is great. You know, people have been giving me motifs. So it's always fun doing dungeons. It's probably my favorite thing in the game to do, actually, is do dungeons with three other people and uh, have a great time doing that. I've always enjoyed it. Join me on Discord, the most chill Discord server on the planet. There's a link in the description. And if you're not doing anything, 8 15 p.m. Eastern Time, follow me on Twitch. Upper Echelon Mediocrity is the name of the channel. If you're on Xbox, North American server, you can join my guild. And my guild's name is Upper Echelon Mediocrity, just like the YouTube channel. And right now we have 485 total members, two members pending, and 59 people online. We got up to 60 today. Maybe there was more. I wasn't really paying attention. But lots of helpful, friendly people. If you want to get into a dungeon, you can just 
post in chat looking for you know damage dealer looking for group healer looking for group tank looking for group and uh somebody will probably pick you up and then you can talk if you don't want to talk if you don't you know have a mic just at least listen through your monitor so you can follow instructions meet people have a good time you can uh you can get a great benefit from making friends in a guild we're not in the guild finder so you need to send me a message on xbox my name is coyote c-h-a-o-t-e-y and i'll get you in as soon as time permits and whatnot all right so until that time let's get paid